In this video, you're going to become familiar with the structure and use of Turing machines that perform simple computations, know what a Turing machine is, and how it can be viewed as a computer with a single fixed program expression. Alan Turing was a British scientist and mathematician who wanted to answer the question, is every mathematical task computable? In 1936, he invented a theoretical machine, the Turing machine, in order to answer this very question. The Turing machine consists of an infinite tape, and this will contain a list of acceptable symbols, which can be characters and numbers, for a given Turing machine. In the example below, this would be 1, 0, and the square, where the square represents a blank. A read-write head. This can be looking at any one square on the tape at a given time. It can either read the data stored there or write new data over the top, replacing the current contents. And a control unit. Now this is effectively a finite state machine and it details how many states the Turing machine can be in, the initial start state of the Turing machine, which are halt states and will stop the Turing machine, and the instructions which tell the machine what to do when it finds itself in a given state, transition rules, and how to move from one state to another, and how the data on the tape changes. OK, so let's push this into a little bit more context with an example. Imagine a Turing machine which is designed to find the first one on this tape to the right of the current read-write position and replace it with a zero and then stop on that data item. So here is the finite state diagram that represents this Turing machine. And on each transition, we can see the inputs that received, the output, and also which position the read-write head will need to move to. So the Turing machine starts in state zero and we discover in this location a zero. So the inputs are zero, we replace with a zero, and we move the read-write head to the right. Okay, so we're still at state zero, so the inputs are zero, so the outputs are zero, so it stays the same, and we move the read-write head one space to the right. Okay, now we see that the input was one, so now the output becomes zero, so it replaces the one that was here for zero, and we move the read-write head to the right, and we're gonna transition from state zero to state one. The read-write head now finds a square, which represents a blank cell. So if we find a blank cell, we output a blank cell, and we move the read-write head to the left. And this leaves us in the halt state, and we have achieved the uh, computation that this Turing machine was trying to complete.